Hello friends, it's been a long time since I filmed a video um, But today we are on my bed with my friends I sleep on a bunk bed so hence this low ceiling uh, But today I want to show <gasps> My camera almost fell Yes, but today I wanted to show you guys the enamel pins and patches that I've been collecting over the past few years um, these things have given me small amounts of joy in just wearing them because I think they're really good conversation starters with people. It shows your interests and with a lot of enamel pins, um, you're supporting local artists as well. So I take a lot of pride in <laughs> my collection, even though it's a small one. So uh, yes, first I will start with my BTS pins. <laughs> so majority of oh, that's loud. majority of my enamel pins that I have that are related to BTS are on my tour bag. This is a tour bag that I got during the last Love Yourself tour when they had it in LA. Um, and I saw a lot of people decorating their bags with stickers and pins so I was like I hopped onto that. <laughs> So this is what my tour bag currently looks like. It took me forever to arrange the way that I want it to look like, but I'm really happy with the way it looks and it has my favorite pins on it. So this is the first enamel pin that I ever got. It is by Mochi Money and it is the Hope World Hicks tape pin recreated into a cassette tape. This next pin I bought from Zio MG Bunny and it is the nighttime version of the serendipity pin and I really really love it because it has a bunch of stars and glitter on it and anything with stars is so my aesthetic and of course I had to get it in the daytime version as well because you know serendipity enthusiasts where you at so I just really love having both of these pins on my bag. This is it. This is the pin of all time. Every other pin bows down in its presence because yes, this is probably my favorite pin of all time. It is an OT7 Euphoria pin um, from the music video and it's just so spot on with the retro colors and the outfits. And now that I know what this scene means, it wrecks me even more, but I really love having a pin version of it. This pin came from a BTS airport fashion series, so I chose Jimin, but honestly, I wanted all of them because they all look so bomb. But this is his look with his iconic pink hair and sunglasses. So fashion. This is a pin that I got more recently, and it was also created by IO Pins. Honestly, the queen of all pin makers, but this is called the 3J pin and it was inspired by the Melon Music Award performance where they did the traditional version of Idol. And honestly, this performance got me so, so shook. It was probably my favorite live performance of all time. So, yeah, the amount of work and detail put into this pin is so insane to me. Um, yeah, the artistry man, and it is around 3 inches tall, it's pretty big, but it deserves to be that big. And there you can see Jungkook, Jimin, and Hobi. And yeah, I just thought this performance was such a beautiful homage to Korean culture, and it makes me so, so, so proud. This is another OT7 pin that I have, created by Mini Taebach, who is based in South Korea and the plating is rose gold which is really beautiful and this whole pin was just a recreation of the love yourself tour image and it's just them in pastel sitting in a bed of flowers and man just no words so this is a very last pin on my tour bag it is part of a gcf in saipan series and so i got the namjoon version and I think it's really cute because the frame is a camera and you're kind of looking at the viewfinder of what Jungkook would see when he's filming it. My next set of BTS pins I actually have on my BT21 tote bag. So I bought two of them when I was in Hong Kong because they're just so cute. <laughs> These are the two that I bought. This one is Jimmy and I love it because it's white so I feel like enamel pins show up really well on this canvas and then the second one that I bought 
is Cookie and this one attracted me a lot because of the really funky colors um, and so I put two of my pins on here. So this pin I also got from Mochi Money and it is a banana milk version or a BTS version of banana milk I guess. Um, and I thought it was really cute. Banana milk is my childhood so I placed it next to Chimmy to make it look like he's drinking it. These next two pins were actually gifted to me by a friend and they both have rose gold plating on them. The one on the left is the Jimin version of um, a Love Yourself era series where all the members are wearing flower crowns. And then the one on the right is the small Rotto flower. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but yes, it is that flower on a key with the lyrics to Magic Shop on them. This pin was also created by IO Pins. It is a Vemin inspired pin. So the top it says Vemin, and then on the bottom it has a 95 for the 95 line. And it is a photo reference to the 2019 season's greeting calendar with the most precious pictures of BTS ever. And so I really love this Vemin pick. They are the best soulmates ever. These two pins I bought from Opichite. So the one on the left is a 4 o'clock inspired pin with Taehyung and Namjoon sitting on a window. And then the one on the right is a Love Yourself Tear Jimin version photo card. This is the most recent pin that I got. I actually got it from Ashley from IO Pins. She was handing them out for free during the sound check line at the Speak Yourself tour at Rose Bowl. It's just an army bomb with some purple glitter and it lists all the different tour stops for the US Speak Yourself tour. And so thank you Ashley for giving these out. Um, I didn't have time to line up for merch so um, this is just like one thing I can keep to remind myself of the concert. So my last BTS enamel pin is actually located on my school backpack. I use this for university and this backpack brand, I mean, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but you probably recognize this backpack. Um, a lot of people have it and also I've noticed that a lot of people like to put their enamel pins across the front of the backpack and it, it's super cute. And so I just have one on this bag. It is a mono inspired pin with Namjoon just etched onto it in like an illustration format that's very similar to the Forever Rainy music video and I put this on my backpack because I love how the red matches the red that's on the logo of this bag so yes my friend gifted this to me and I really love it I was super into Disney Tsumutsumu or Tsumtsums and so whenever I went to Japan I would go kind of crazy in the Disney store so these are the ones that I have I have Joy from Inside Out I have Sully from Monsters Inc I have a Christmas piglet and then on my sweater I wear oh there's hair <laughs> on my sweater I wear a Christmas Goofy and so these are the ones that I have and I think these are really cute because it's kind of like a plush material but the back side is um, like a clothespin. It's a very good quality clothespin and so I tend to wear these on my clothes like somewhere here whenever I'm in the mood like especially on denim stuff like I would attach these to my overalls to just personalize and make my outfits cuter <laughs> depending on my mood. The next set of pins I own, I actually bought. Um, they were on sale at the Lime store in Harajuku when I visited Japan in 2016. Um, and I thought they were really cute so I bought this one. It is a popular emoji in the Line app. And then this one I wear on my denim jacket. So it's just a duck in an egg yolk. So these are really cute and I really love wearing them on my clothes as well. My last set of pins are actually embroidered. Um, and so these are the ones that I bought from the Kakao Talk store in Korea when I came in 2017. 
Um, so this is the first one that I have. Oh, <laughs> this is the first one that I have. It is an embroidered pin. So it kind of looks like it would be a patch, but on the back there's a, a clasp thing or clothes pin, so you can actually attach it to your clothes so it would mimic the effect of like an embroidered patch and so I really like this one this is the angry duck that is breathing fire it's honestly a mood sometimes so when I feel this way I express it through wearing this pin and then this is like the cacao baby series I think and so this is Ryan he's one of my favorite characters and so he's just holding a pillow and he looks so soft and then the other pin that I bought at the same time because I couldn't pick um, is my other favorite character there's a hair on this too is a peach I literally love the way a peach looks as a baby because look at his little baby teeth so cute so uh, I frequently wear these ones on my clothes because they're so so adorable <laughs> so thank you so much for watching my video I really hope this inspires you to perhaps start a pin or patch collection and personalize your clothes in that way and I will see you next time bye